called Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. But don't expect your standard sequel to Spyro the Dragon. This is completely different and way more challenging. Here's what the developers at Insomniac Games showed PlayStation Underground in an exclusive tour. For Spyro 2, we really kind of threw away all the rules and we learned that it's okay to be crazy. Spyro 1 was all about collecting objects. Spyro 2 is all about completion. Thank you, Spyro. Now I can put my friend back together. So in every level, whereas in Spyro 1, you just did the same thing, in Spyro 2, you're now doing at least three very different things from each other. We have what we call talisman challenges and orb challenges. The talisman challenges are more straightforward. They are required to complete a level. Orb challenges are more difficult, they're off the main path, and they're something that the hardcore players can really sink their teeth into. We added about 40 mini-games. Saving the little cavemen from the giant lizards is the hardest puzzle. Even experienced gamers need 10 or 15 tries. They all have that kind of addictive quality where it's, okay, just one more try and I'll get it. These challenges give Spyro 2 a much greater depth and creates more variety than Spyro 1 ever had. The game has so many new features that we asked team members to pick out their favorites. I really like how Spyro can swim now. The way that he dives down, it, it's very natural. And I love it that there is no breathing gauge or anything like that. You just keep down there and enjoy the the ambiance, and I love it how he can just shoot out of the water. We also have Super Shot, which is a targeting mechanic that Spyro uses in the game. He, he gets it through power-ups, and it's great. It's like having a shoot-em-up type game in Spyro. In Spyro 2, the bosses are big. They're, they're badass. Can I say badass? They're badass. This game has over a hundred brand new characters, so that players will feel like they've entered a brand new world. I love the hockey, the ice skating, the hockey just, you know, it was just kind of a little novelty idea, and we put hockey in the game, and it worked. Mm -hmm. yeah, I've seen people in the office play it and just, hockey, I want to play more hockey. And play they did. To take a break, artists took on programmers in a game of broomball. One employee comments on the spirit in the company. Completely accepting group of people here. There's a lot of courtesy. Everybody's very courteous to everybody else. There's a lot of respect here. And it's very refreshing. On the ice, the group found out that sitting at a computer for months takes a toll on athletic performance. Oh. Okay, this is where you want to hit it in. We want to hit it in. <laughs> We're trying. I know. The game turned out to be a tie with only a little bloodshed. We had a couple final questions for the team. Is one of them most like Spyro? That's Chuck. 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 He is so positive about everything. And no matter what you say to him, he just keeps coming back for more. In case you're wondering, I'm Chuck. And I'm honored. And I'm a clam. And talk amongst yourselves. So thank you. Good night. Is there a team member most like Ripto? Uh, well, I'd say everybody has their moments of being like Ripto. Uh, certainly myself included. I would say Oliver Wade. Oliver. 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 He was sort of designed based on me. I guess a lot of the designs that I do look like me anyway. You just put a lot of yourself into them. But uh, wanted uh, someone with a real fiery temper. I hate dragons! Yeah! Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. It's a whole new gameplay experience as fresh and surprising as the people who made it. 
feel my wrath. 